Hello, so today we're going to look at how to add Google Analytics tracking script to your website. Um, and the reason why you want Google Analytics is so that you can find information about your traffic, the, the visits that are coming into your website. And what you're going to see is information like this, which is basically showing you the uh, number of referrals, uh, organic search here in green, um, direct traffic, that's traffic that comes uh, uh, from people that type your website address or blog address directly into the browser window up here and um, or other or social so and then there's other tons and tons and tons of different things that you can look at and uh, gain some juicy information about those visitors in order to um, uh, create good content for them uh, going forward. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go back to my uh, Google Analytics entry page and if you don't have a Google account yet or you're not logged into Google in any way it's going to say create account or sign in. If you have a Google account obviously you're going to sign in. If you don't have a Google account you're going to create account and then you're going to come back to Google Analytics and say access Google Analytics. So I clicked on access Google Analytics and what I'm seeing here is a bunch of different sites because um, this particular account that I'm logged in to has a number of different sites on it. And so I wouldn't worry too much about that, but what you want to do is you want to go to admin up here in the top. Uh, there's four options here, home reporting customization admin. You want to go to admin and then it gets confusing. You see all this information and, and um, usually I can never figure out where I'm supposed to go to add, um, add a new site. But what you want to do is go to the account column, the first column over here, and click on the drop down button and then go all the way down to the bottom and there's that create account uh, link. So then you would click on that click on that create a new account link and here you have the new account screen so you'll be adding information so say I'm adding um, you know my new site um, and my new website ABC whatever it is and here's the URL so if I put www. I'm just gonna say abc.com for now and choose the category for this one I'll say other and then the check the time zone and then the data sharing um, options are basically worth reading through so that you understand what information you're actually giving to Google so if you are not willing to share your information with Google um, for whatever reason you don't have to they're not forcing you to and you can just uncheck these buttons um, I'm gonna leave everything as it is right now but by all means that's not uh, what you need to do, I encourage you to uh, make your own choice around that. Um, go through each one and see how you feel about each one. So then I can click on the Get Tracking ID, and I, if I click Get Tracking ID, it's going to ask me to agree to the um, service agreement. I'm going to make the screen a bit smaller so that I can actually accept it. I say I accept it, and then it should go through a little bit. It's going to say success here at the top, and here it shows me, I'm going to make this screen bigger, my tracking script. So here I've got a number, right, a tracking ID number, a UA number, and I've also got uh, some script. So there's two different ways that you can add this script to your website. One is to add it manually into a header file um, of your website code. If you're in WordPress, you can do that by going to the um, Appearance and then Editor. Or you can just download a plugin and then enter this um, ID over here. So I have a, a different site that I have been uh, working on. So what we're going to do is go to that site, and I'm going to show you over here this is a plugin that I've installed for, for Google Analytics, um, for WordPress actually, and I can actually choose to manually enter that code and then I would um, actually copy the code first. So copy this ID, copy that, and then put that right there. And then it should go in the header and leave all of those options and then you say update uh, Google Analytics settings and everything should work just fine from there. So that's the easy way to do it. The difficult way to do it is to add it through the appearance. So you would go to appearance and then editor and add it that way um, and that's going to be more challenging. I'll talk about that in another video.